Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a serious flaw that affects all Linux-based systems. If you haven't heard of glibc or the GNU standard C library, this is a function library or a standard C library that ships with all Linux systems. And essentially, this standard library is responsible for doing all the basic things that many programs do. For instance, if you need a program to look up the IP address associated with a domain name like watchguard.com, there's likely a function in glibc that does this for you. In any case, researchers from both the Google security team and Red Hat security team both independently reported a vulnerability in this glib library. In fact, they reported the vulnerability specifically in that function used to look up an IP address associated with a DNS or domain name. Without going into all the technical meat, this is a pretty standard stack-based buffer overflow. Basically, if an attacker can get a vulnerable Linux program to use this glibc function to look up a domain name they can control, they can then force a overly large DNS response that will mess up memory in a way that they can also control to execute code. Long story short, they can gain control of your computer and execute code remotely. So it's a pretty bad flaw. And of course, there's almost endless ways attackers can get your system to look up domain names, anywhere from doing man-in-the-middle attacks that inject domain names to uh, just actually placing domain names somehow in your logs that your system will later look up when you parse the logs. Now the GNU software folks already have a patch for this and I suspect Linux distributions will start adopting it quickly. But you also need to think about some of your network gear. Some of your network gear may also use Linux and could be vulnerable to this. Now there's many different ways to mitigate this particular attack. The actual attack requires a DNS response that's over 2048 bytes long. So if you limit your UDP responses to 512 bytes, which is standard, and your TCP DNS responses to 1024 bytes, which is standard, you can somewhat mitigate this vulnerability. Now, if you're a WatchGuard customer, do know that some of our products do use glibc. Specifically, our XTM appliances do, our XCS appliances do not. Now, technically, the version we use on our XTM appliances is vulnerable to this issue. However, we're currently researching the issue, and based on some of the mitigation uh, techniques described by the GNU Software Foundation library, we don't think we're susceptible to this issue. Nonetheless, we will be patching uh, glibc shortly, and we'll continue to research this and let you know if we find anything new. In any case, if you use any Linux system, you're going to want to get this glibc patch. On top of that, there's a number of appliances you might have in your organization that could also use glibc, so you might want to get those updated as well. And and finally, if you are an XTM owner, be sure to keep an eye out because we will release an update that patches this shortly. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.